Hi, this is Teresa Bennett, the Analyst Coach. I have 20 years of information technology experience as a business analyst and a quality analyst. I've worked in many different areas such as banking, financial, power delivery, e-commerce, warehouse management, and cable. I'm now a successful coach for other analysts. This is part five of a five-part series I'm doing related to popular questions I get from my clients. Today's subject is uh, maybe a little bit of sensitive for some people. We're going to cover the question, how do I tell my manager I can't take on another project? We all want to say yes. Everybody has that problem. People don't want to say no. Your manager comes to you and says, hey, can you take on another project? You start sweating bullets and thinking about how you have no extra time, but somehow you need to figure out how you can fit this in because you don't want to tell them no. You may not want to tell them no, but it's perfectly acceptable to tell them no. If you truly do not have any time available, then you are doing yourself and your manager a disservice by saying you'll take on the project. When you take on a project, you want to give it the attention that it deserves, and if you're already spread too thin, then taking on another project is not going to do that for you or your manager. So when you're talking to the manager, if you um, are not able to take on another project, you want to keep it simple and don't offer excuses, but do offer an alternative. So you may not be able to take on another project right now. So you can say, I simply don't have the bandwidth right now for an additional project, but I should have some time free up in about two weeks when project X uh, moves out of analysis or the testing phase, whatever you're working on. So with this, you've indicated that you can't do anything else right now, but you are willing and open in two weeks. It may be a project that can be held off for two weeks, or maybe they can temporarily have somebody else fill in for two weeks. Either way, you haven't gone to your boss and said, hey, I just can't do it. You've given them a um, alternative for when you would be available to do it. This is going to help make your um, your manager happy because they're going to feel like um, you're really putting some thought into it and you are doing your best to try to help them out. I would like to invite you to go to my website www.theanalystcoach.com and sign up for my free weekly newsletter. It's full of great tips for um, both quality analysts and business analysts, um, things specific to job areas and also uh, more general things like communication skills. I would love to uh, add you to, uh, to my uh, weekly newsletter. Thanks.